I was told that uh, the key objective of this gathering is to make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so I can go now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure you've had a really hectic week. Microsoft team, you want to see? Yeah. Yeah, like I've done a really hectic week. My job is very hectic, you see. Yeah, but something else, my job prevents me and distracts me from my real life ambition. You're probably wondering what is my job? What is my ambition, right? Mm -hmm. Answer you. So my job is uh, supporting the most difficult people on the planet. <laughs> Professional academics. <laughs> My real life ambition, believe it or not, since I was a little boy growing up on the ghetto streets of Lagos, Nigeria, my real life ambition is to become the mayor of Morgan. <laughs> not just that, not just that, the first black mayor of Morgan. <laughs> Why, why not? <laughs> it feels like home. <laughs> Did you know that in 2021, 160 crimes is committed per 1,000 persons? <laughs> I'll fit right in. <laughs> and that's why I need to become the mayor. <laughs> now, you're probably also wondering, well, well, I can, what's the connection between your job, supporting so academics, and being the mayor of Mokka? Well, there is no connection. <laughs> so, but that's the point, isn't it? Because, to be honest, how many of you are not uh, really, really, really doing what you really, really want to do? <laughs> be honest. I know you're an academic and professor, but is that what you really, really want to do? <laughs> so last August, I was speaking with the Vice Chancellor of the University of Nigeria. And I was kind of trying to talk about how to help their student population with employability. And midway, he stops me and he says, Akan, I think I might also want help with my employability. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you're the freaking vice chancellor. <laughs> you have a job. <laughs> then he goes, well, that is not what I really, really want to do. <laughs> so now I'm thinking, what else could you be really want to do? I mean, you've got a big office, a nice car, a lovely driver. I mean, you've got everything you want. So, but obviously, I still have to ask the question. So I bend down and I start like, uh, so sir, what is it you really, really want to do? Then he goes, I'd like to be the mayor of Isiba Oluwo Akumojo. Well, don't, don't try pronouncing it. <laughs> you just cut your thumb. But basically, it's the ghetto where I grew up. <laughs> I say, but the truth is, I say, my my job, as it is, Believe it or not, actually has a title. And you know universities have titles, right? So the Chancellor, they put the Chancellor, what's your titles? Pro-Chancellor? Does anybody here know what the pro means? <laughs> <laughs> professional? <laughs> Proactive? <laughs> Maybe probiotic? <laughs> Adults. Anyway, back to my point. So my job, that's what's the title. And the title is Africa Strategy Advisor. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> Sounds very posh, doesn't it? Yeah. Not just the odd strategy advisor. The African one. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen me? <laughs> they have to go and describe it further. <laughs> I do like my job to be fair. Because my job involves me kind of navigating with African partners. If you know like I said, what they do basically. See, but the trouble is. My job is supposed to be serious. I'm supposed to be talking about serious things like resource mobilization for research projects in Africa, pathways to impact and outcomes, and all of that. But I discovered that I have to start strategizing on other inconsequential things for professors like Dave. <laughs> things like so things like the politeness of the British. So I'll give an example. I heard that it's actually really polite. So the bus driver, thank you, before you alight. Is that correct? Yeah. As a matter of fact, some bus drivers actually almost demand it. And they expect it. And for somebody who grew up in the ghetto streets of Lagos, I find it really weird. <laughs> so uh, this is that, at that point in time, we're about to alight from the bus. 
And then my eyes, I mean the eyes of the driver. <laughs> and then his eyes tell me, how was the trip? <laughs> and then my eyes respond to me, I think it was fine. <laughs> Then his eyes talks to me. Give it to me. <laughs> tell me thank you. So my eyes tell me. All this is happening in slow motion, by the way. <laughs> and my eyes tell him, what if I don't want to? <laughs> then his eyes tells me, don't be rude. <laughs> so just to avoid crisis, I just say thank you and I'm out of the box. <laughs> so, what I'm talking about. All these inconsequential things is preventing me from my life's ambition. <laughs> so I give an example. Do you know you, you, you can literally ruin a whole project by the number of places you put in that email? <laughs> well, that's true. As a matter of fact, I've actually done the calculation. For every 151 email, you need about three to five places within the email <laughs> for it not to be offensive. <laughs> so sometimes, I mean, I spend five minutes right, composing an email, and I have to spend an extra five minutes counting if the places are the right position. <laughs> because you have to say please every time. In fact, as a matter of fact, you have to almost say please when you are saying, so please, can you stop spending the research funds for alcoholic drinks? <laughs> it's all about the please. But well, that's fine. I mean, in my job, so it's preventing from my job, from my, from my main vision, my main dream. But ultimately, once in a while, when I have an opportunity to poke at these professors I do support, I have so much fun with it. So for example, just last week, I was having a, this final project webinar, and it was celebratory. And these are professional professors in, the, in this Zoom meeting. What do you think I did? Obviously, it was a celebratory webinar. So I prepare a lot of hip hop drink, uh, music, hip hop music in advance. So at the end of every speech, I will say, "Why well, is a celebration? Can this professor give us a, a dance live on the road? <laughs> you, you see where I'm going with this, right? Or oh, it is the most awkward and the most fun thing to do <laughs> because these lot are the ones preventing me from my life's vision. <laughs> I tell you what, just about. A few months ago, I was driving down to, uh, to school with my kids, and, and I remember that I got a news from came on the radio. And the news said, Well, that Lancashire City Council has actually approved the planning permission for the construction of Eden. In my mind, I'm thinking, Wait a minute, I've done a good job because over the last, I don't know, 10 years, I've been moving geographically. So I give example what I mean. I used to live in Golgate, <laughs> and I moved to the city centre. <laughs> Two years ago, I moved to Scale Hall <laughs> on the way to Mocha. <laughs> so there is a physical migration towards my dream. <laughs> so when I heard that Lancashire City Council has approved the Eden Project in Mocha, <laughs> have you been to the Eden Project in Cornwall? Yeah. There is a special Africa section. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think I've done? <laughs> I've sent in my CV <laughs> as the Africa strategy advisor yeah. of the Eden project. Yeah. Because I have come to believe that when I aspire and perspire to acquire my desire, <laughs> if it backfires, I won't retire. But I will be inspired to refire. <laughs> Mokam, I'm coming for you. Yeah.